In this video, I'm going to take you through the Calcudoku feature of the puzzle generator and how you can make your own puzzles. So the first thing we want is a blank slide in PowerPoint like this. So if you have any uh, text boxes or placeholders on here, please delete them first. And then what we're going to do is make sure we're on the puzzle generator tab up the top here. And then we're going to choose our trim size. Now for this example, I'm going to stick with 8.5 by 11, but you can of course choose any trim size here. So then we're going to go to Puzzles, Calcudoku. Now our first page here is basically a game explanation or a how to play the game. You can edit this if you want by clicking in and just typing or deleting. And if you want to include this at the beginning of your puzzles, tick the box here. If you don't, Leave it unticked and then click continue. Now our first option here is our color picker. So our first option for the color picker is the headers text. Now this is the text above each grid. Uh, so the title and you can of course choose any color here but if you're creating for KDP it's likely you're going to choose black or gray. I'm going to keep it on the default black here. And our next option is the operator color. So what that is in the puzzle is the uh, plus minus subtract divide symbol. What color you want that to be. Again, if you're creating for KDP, it's likely you want that to be a black or a gray. I'm just gonna keep it as a black. And now our next option here is to choose the font for our header. Now you can select any font that you have installed in Office or that you've added to the export tool. As you can see here, you can choose the size and the styling for bold and italics. I'm just going to leave uh, for the default settings for this example. Our next option here is you can set a title. So this is what goes above every single uh, puzzle. At the moment it's grid. You can of course change that to Kalkidoku. You can translate it to another term. It's completely up to you. And that will just appear above every single grid. So at the moment it's grid. So it'll be grid one, grid two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Our next option here is to start our numbering at. By default, this is one, and in most circumstances, you will want this to be one. But say, for example, you created 20 puzzles, and then you wanted to create another 20, uh, what you would do is if you start the numbering at 21, and then it would create the puzzles at 21, 22, 23, 24, and so forth. So then your puzzles are still in a consecutive order. Our next option here is our page number. So this is how many pages worth of puzzles you want to create. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna leave it on five. Our next option is to hide the titles. Now where that might come in useful, I'm gonna show you a little bit later. So we're just gonna ignore that uh, feature for now. Our next option is our grid dimensions. So again, this is to do with the difficulty as well. The larger the grid, the more difficult the uh, puzzle as well. I'm gonna stick with uh, four by four on this one. And then here you can choose the amount of grids uh, per page you want. So you can choose one, two, four, or six. I'll stick with six and however many um, grids you choose per page here, you'll get the same amount of solutions per page as well. Now there's a way around that, but I'm gonna come back uh, to that again a bit later on. And our option here is to choose the different operators we want in the puzzle. So of course, the more different um, operators you have, the more challenging. With plus, it's just um, uh, adding up times, just times, and so on and so forth. Now our final option here, which is uh, particularly useful if you're creating for KDP, is the ability to add a left and right margin, so white space on either side of the, of the page. I typically go for 0 0.75, but you can go between 0 and 1. So let's quickly create some puzzles.
So now our puzzles are created, we have access to some further formatting options. So what you can do is select the shapes that you want to uh, move, for example. So I'm going to just do the titles here. And then you can use this feature here to move the titles. So for example, if I put 0.4 in and go left, that all moves to the left. And you can see this change reflected in all of your puzzles all the way through, included in solutions as well. A final formatting tool uh, you might like is the ability to change the fonts and the font sizing after you've created. Now in particular where you might find this useful is for the, um, the division sums in here, as you can see, you know, the operators of times, divide, etc. They're all very, very small. So what you might like to do is if you select all of these puzzles and then we go into change individual fonts here. And then what we can do is we can increase the size. So let's go for 18. Click OK. And then what that does, that increases the size in all that puzzles and all the way through the puzzles we've created, including our solutions as well. Now what I'm going to show you now is how you can have a different amount of solutions or puzzles per slide using the bulk import and export tool. So what we're going to do, we're just going to delete these. We're going to tap to add a slide. We're going to delete these um, placeholders here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to choose a, tr a square trim size. So I'm going to go for 8.5 by 8.5 here. And then we go puzzles, Kalkudoku, continue. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to choose one grid per page. We're going to take off our left and right margins by unticking this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hide our titles. So once we've done that, oh, uh, let me just quickly change the page number. So let's create, I don't know, let's do 40 puzzles. And then once we've done that, we're going to click OK to create our puzzles. Now our puzzles are complete. Now it's worth noting before you export uh, these uh, puzzles, what you might want to do is make any amendments to the formatting that you want. For example, here, I'd like to make our little uh, sums and operators a little bit larger. So I'm gonna go change individual fonts and I'm gonna bump that up to 18, actually let's do 22, oh, matter of fact that wasn't any larger so let's, so it's 22, let's go up to uh, 30 on these. There we go. So now what you want to do is up top here, click export slides as PNG. And then what we want to do first is our puzzles. So we're going to do one to 40 puzzles, keep the quality and resolution the same, click OK. And then we're going to go to our C drive, just create a folder. And in here, I'm going to create another folder called Puzzles. And then click OK. Wait for them to export. And then the next thing I'm going to do is going to rerun it. So export slides as PNG again. This time doing slides 41 onwards to the end because that's our solutions. Again, keeping the quality 
and the resolution the same and then going back to that same folder so C, calc and I'm going to create a folder in here called solutions and then I'm going to double click on that and click OK now all our puzzles and our solutions have been exported I'm going to delete all these slides along the slide along the side I'm going to tap to add a uh, first slide delete these placeholders and then what we're going to do we're going to choose our trim size we want to create our KDP book at here so I'm going to go for 8.5 um, by 11 and then once we've done this we're going to click bulk import images here and then we're going to go into our puzzles first and then click OK now you'll notice here we have a lot more options as to how many images or puzzles we can have per slide all the way from 1 up to 20 so in this example I'm going to go for 8 now here we have the option to add a title above every image this is why I um, hit the title and the Kalkidoku um, settings because here I can add a title and it won't be part of the image so if I want to edit the size in afterwards I, I can do so still so I just click puzzle here and then down the bottom you can set minimum margins and space I tend to just leave the default and I click attempt to optimize spacing because this tends to keep it uh, tightly knit together so once you're happy with all your settings here, I'm going to click OK. And as you can see here, we have our eight, our eight puzzles per slide. And then what we want to do now is go to bulk import images again. This time our solutions. And this time we can choose a different um, amount of images to import per slide if you want. So I'm going to go for 20. I'm going to change the uh, title from puzzle to solution and keep all the other settings exactly the same click OK and there we have our puzzles so we have our Kalkidoku's um, 8 per page and then we have our solutions 20 per page now I hope this quick video helps you get started making your own Kalkidoku puzzles thank you for watching